Okay, thanks for those openers there, Doug. We move on to race five, which is the Cross Country Glen Far Class Handicap Chase. A 0 to 160 over three miles and seven furlongs. Number one, top of the pies, pray for the Queen. Joshua Sutherland, 92 favourite, along with French Foreign Legion for Darren Thompson. Proud Tarquin for Kevin Meenan. Eve's Delight for Pontypool. Holland for Stu Gray. Sword Lake for Jim Murray. Timothy Dorman for Paul Rhodes. The Jockey Assassin, the Coup from Paul Rhodes. Blackbird for David Robinson. Last Suspect, Kevin Meenan. Zar Creep for Stu Gray. Now and then, Martin Liedem. Keki Rosberg, James Fyce. Tennis Spades, Graham Clutterbuck. Derry Lavoie, Martin Liedem. And Merzerat for Roby One makes up just 16. To go around this cross country course, as you can see, on a helicopter ride. Over that bit, do, 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 do. swing left, swing left again, and here they are. And the start has called them in, and they're away, and they get to the first fence pretty quick, which is a hedge. And everybody gets over it. So all 16 remain on their feet. There's three and a half miles still to go. And we're going to be led by last suspect over the second. As everybody skips over it, so it's Merzerat that now leads last suspect and Zachary out wide trying to get into its normal pole position likes to lead but it's Merzerat that leads us from last suspect and Zachary and then they've got about three length advantage on pre for the Queen Ten of Spades Timothy Dorn on the inside and the outside of that also oh, further inside is Sword Lake and Kevin Meenahan's proud Tarquin jockey assassins there they get to the third which is a little fence and we'll just dumble over that go downhill now Past the car park railings, further downhill again. We get to this hedge, and everybody gets over. We'd lost one. Keki Rosberg must have been unseated before. I missed that. Unlucky James. The rest of all got over the six, straight into the seventh, which is another big, uh, uh, strange fence. And we're finally being led by Zachary, who likes to be there at the front. The last suspect in second. We've had a couple of battles over the season, I think especially in the Moore's Millions qualifiers. But it is Zachary from Last Suspect, Merzerat, Ten of Spades and Timothy Dalton. Now you're one to five. Then we've got Proud Tarpin, Pray for the Queen, Sword Lake. The jockey Assassin, that's Paul Rhodes. Coup, he mentions in the race card notes. So maybe he has laid this one out special. And he's alongside Blackbird of David Robertson. That links back to Hollander. We'll take the ninth and they'll get over it. And then you've got French Foreign Legion, Eve's Delight, now and then, and Derry Lavoie. Two orange silks of Martin Eden just bring up the rear. I'm sure they won't be there come the end. But it's still Zachary. We get down to three miles to go. It's Zachary from Last Suspect, Merzerat, Ten of Spades, Timothy Dalton, and Proud Tarquin. Pray for the Queen, Sword Lake, Blackburn, the Jockey Assassin as they go over this. Oh, and we've lost one there. The favourite, Pray for the Queen's down and gone. Unlucky Josh. He isn't going to win this the week before the national. Stay on his same mark. And we're still being led by Zachary. We're through a third of the fences, the 11 of the 33 they have to jump as they approach the 12th. Zachary for Stu Gray that's going to lead him over it. It's the dot, 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 dot fences. I'm not sure what they're called. It's a little garden with hedges around it. But Zagreb from Last Aspect still lead us. Towards the rear still is now and then, although Derry Lavoie has moved himself up a few positions. As I said, they won't be there at the end. They come down to the water. No surprises, they will get over this. So it's race five on uh, Cheltenham here. And they won the first four. Oh, we've, oh, Kevin Meenahan's last aspect drops his jockey as they go over the, the double hedge race fences. So bad luck there, he's out of it now. So Sarkreet still leads him from Merzerat. We've got Tennis Spades, Timothy Dalton, Proud, Tarquin and Blackbird. Followed through by the jockey assassin, Sword Lake, French Foreign Legion, the other joint favourite in the race, Derry Lavoie. He's delight now and then a Honda at the rear as they get to the 17th in the rear won't want to be there come the magical pull up time but still Zar Creek as they come down to just over two miles left to travel from Meserat, Ten of Spades, Timothy Dalton, Brown Tarquin and Blackbird and a length and a half or so back to the Jockey Assassin, Sword Lake and French Foreign Legion. Terry Lavoie Eve's Delight now and then and Holland is right at the rear. So the grey stables have got one at the front and one at the back. 
is still Zarkrete. Moving down to the 20th. Ground now moves up into a, a share of second as well as ten of spades. There's also another horse I think has been laid out specially for this. As Graham Crutterbuck puts in his notes, this is the perfect distance. So whether it's the perfect course and whether it can beat the other uh, laid out horse, which appears to be the jockey assassin for Paul Rhodes. But it's Zachary that still leads us from ten of spades, Timothy Dawn and Merzer as they go over the 22nd. Everybody's still on their feet. They've only lost three, which isn't bad. And they've got just over a mile and a half to travel. And well over halfway through the race. And it's Zar Creek from Ten of Spades, Merzerat and Timothy Dalton. And then a length or so back to Proud Tarquin, the jockey assassin, Blackbird and Sword Lake together. And a further two to Derry Le Roy. French foreign major now and then Eve's delight. And the Hollander's getting himself a little bit detached. If he doesn't get pulled up, I'll eat my hat. Again, we'll skip over that. Oh, and we're losing one there. Unfortunately, it's Eve's Delight that's going for Graham Clutterbuck. The first of the pull ups, 10 furlongs as, as usual. We've probably got another one to come. But anyway, it's still Zar Creek that leads them over the 24th. Although being joined now by Merzer and the jockey assassins pushed his way through the field. And we've got 10 of spades. Side of the leg, Blackbird, Timothy Dalton, Sword Lake. All got a, they all got caught very wide there as we went around their bend. As you can see, Sword Lake, Proud Tarquin, all just went backwards and have caught up with Hollander in the rear. But up front, it's still Zarkri from Merzerat. And the jockey assassin. These are one, two, three. And we've got about two lengths back to French Foreign Legion at 10 of spades. They go to the 26. And we've lost one there. Now and then unshipped his jockey, unlucky Martin, but he's still got Derry Lavoie in there. And it's still Zarkri that leads them into the 27th. And well strung out, and there goes Hollander, as we expected, another pull up. So that's three in this race, but it's Zarkri that still leads us from Obi Wan's Merzerat, and a couple lengths back to the jockey assassin and ten of spades. Two further back to French Foreign Legion, Blackbird, Derry Lavoie, and Sword Lake making up good ground again. Timothy Dalton's got a little bit to do. But it's still Zachary. He's extended his lead by a couple now as he goes over the 28th. That's the fifth from home. And they swing left handed downhill. Gets to the next. Goes past the car park fences. And it's Zachary. Skips over that one. In second now is the jockey assassin that's moved up ominously. They go over the 30th. Four from home with just three to jump as they approach the 31st. It's still Zarkreet that leads from the Jockey Assassin, Ten of Spades, Sword Lake, Derry Lavoie, French Foreign Legion, Timothy Dalton, Merzerat, and Proud Tarquin. But up front, still Zarkreet as they come down to three furlongs from home. It's Zarkreet now being put under pressure by the Jockey Assassin for the first time in the race. It's Zarkreet, the Jockey Assassin just breezes by. And it's the Jockey Assassin there from Zar Creek, Ten of Spades, Salt Lake, all plugging on. Derry Lavoie, Blackbird, Timothy Dalton, Merzerat, French Foreign Legion, and Proud Tarquin are nowhere. And we're inside the two now, and it's still the Jockey Assassin. Gets all just lucky over that 32nd and the penultimate fence. Only got one to jump now. It's the Jockey Assassin, just gets over it from Zar Creek in second. Salt Lake is third at the moment. Blackbird running on for fourth. But up front, inside the final field, and the Jockey Assassin has pulled off the coup. Uh, Paul Rhodes, Bird. Barney, Barney Curly type of affair there. The jockey Assassin takes it by about three or four lengths from Sword Lake running on well for second. I think Blackbird's going to get up for third. Zarkri fourth. Derry Lavoie fifth. Taylor Spade sixth. Timothy Dawn finished seventh. So a win there for Paul Rhodes. Well done. Wins the Glen Farkless handicap chase with the jockey assassin. Second was Sword Lake for Jim Murray. Third was Blackbird for David Robertson. Fourth was Zarkreek for Stu Gray. And fifth was Derry Levoire for Marty Leadham.